Okay, so this room is about the minimum size that you would want. It's approximately 10 feet by 10 feet. That gives us enough room to have a desk, a designated workstation with our computer and software. It gives us room to store our film in a clean environment, which is really important for the whole purpose. It gives us room for the plotter, and uh, this plotter is a 40-inch plotter. There's a full catalog dating back well into the 90s of all the paint protection pieces you might put in there, plus the tint for those vehicles. And there are many templates for signs and stuff as well. In this case, we're going to be doing an 18-inch kit on a 2011 black Honda Odyssey. So we throw the 18 onto the media basket and feed it into our plotter. Now we choose this particular plotter not by accident but because it's a good sturdy workhorse. If you get lots of years out of a plotter like this, it will measure the film down to the thousandths of an inch and uh, fairly low maintenance if they're looked after and kept clean. What you want to do is make sure there's enough film on that roll, which in this case I know just by feeling the roll, but if there's any question whatsoever I can feed the film out and that will you know, measure it as it goes so I can make sure there's enough. The second reason for feeding it out is I can see if it's running straight. On the software there's this nifty little thing where I can put in stock numbers or I can put in POs or ROs. This allows me to track to make sure that the film is going on a vehicle that's getting paid for and send it off to the plotter. Okay, when the kit is done cutting, we feed it forward a little bit, take our dollar store cutter. Weeding the film means is getting rid of the things that you're not going to install on the vehicle. So that involves getting off the protective cap sheet. Okay, and that reveals the urethane that we're going to use in the end, as well as getting rid of the other part of the film which we're not going to use. So this leaves the release liner and gets rid of the urethane we're not going to use. I'll weed this quickly and then you can see where we're going with it. First and foremost, we have to make sure that this car is spotless, so we need to squeegee that off. Leave our surface as clean as possible. Then we're back to the glass. Well, over here on the glass, our first thing we want to do is kill the static electricity. Because like with most films, there's lots of static electricity. And when we peel the backing off, we don't want to draw dust into our work environment. Fill the back and uh, wet your hands really well. Grab the film from the bottom. That puts the glue away from you. 